how did your Thanksgiving go? We're literally in this, we're, as we're recording this in the same weekend of Turkey Day, as uh, we reference it here on the stage. How'd you pass yours? Yo, I, well, so the day started off, me, uh, Skips, and the boys went to a event put together by her job. It was a 3K walk over at Tempe Town Lake. Okay. So, uh, we got up there at 7 o'clock in the morning. We did our 3K walk. We got back home, and I told Skips, yeah, I don't feel like seeing anybody today, so I will be staying home, <laughs> sending my condolences to the family. I ain't fucking with nobody today. And I stayed all day. She allowed that. So me and Skips have a beautiful relationship <laughs> where people, I don't know, people get caught up in the bullshit of you have to do this like this and you got to do this like that. If I don't want to go somewhere, she don't want me there. Like, I don't want you sitting around grumpy. Like, if you don't want to be there, then don't come. If you want to come, come. Like, who gives a shit? <laughs> like, I think, and I think that's the downfall of a lot of relationships is a lot of people um, put too much weight in, like, unimportant bullshit like and again and I, I joked with her when she got back I was like uh, you know because I'm not a big Thanksgiving fan and I was like I really don't care to sit around and be thankful around a whole bunch of white people it just feels a little <laughs> odd to me so. <laughs> see now I'm definitely curious because and obviously because of the, the race divide and you guys have been dealing with each other and living this interracial uh, I, I'm trying, trying to think of some nasty word for thing but marriage is a beautiful thing um Cause how does how does Kaiwa eight? Uh seven. So yeah. Okay. So well going on then because nine years, yeah. So the fact that that's been going on, obviously I'm pretty sure you guys had to have shaken all the little taboo things that have never ever ever been experienced before. That shit was knocked out within the first two to three. I'm sure having to play the jump the juggle of going back and forth. But my question to you, especially with that being a case, and it's always being brought back to a matter of it being a time for family. Does the race thing get you out of out of trouble? Well, in what sense? I mean, in essence, to where I don't know if you just if you're just being funny right now, or if you actually throw out there to your Anglo-Saxon wife, I don't want to be around a bunch of whites. Oh no, like, I keep it a buck. I, I I tell Skip knows how much I despise a lot of white men. Like all the shit, all the shit I say on the show is the, the same way I'm on the show. Is the same way I am at home, and like I talk all the same shit. Like Skip's listens to the show. Yeah, I told her. I was like, I was like not really too comfortable just being around a whole bunch of white people i'm just not in the mood and you know thanksgiving it's kind of like all this shit is white people's fault and i'm just not in the mood this this year so and then yeah and so yeah we didn't do nothing or i didn't do anything yeah. they did stuff so yo well kudos to you being able to slip out of that now for the first time and i think maybe three years being in the in a i guess what you would call a relationship uh since being in that like i always had to be dragged out to going to go see in-laws and all this yada yada i don't know how it got flipped on its side maybe sh she finally got tired of some of the relatives that she had to see on that on that side of the family that i actually pr don't really mind which is yeah. the crazy part i'm like oh you don't like that bitch like damn i actually thought she was cute like oh you can't stand him we actually have a really good connection oh, that's so, actually but, the cool one <laughs> yeah he's actually the cool one to me so I, I lucked out though because as much as i could have fought to be like oh well, no i want to see these people no i probably i i'd rather save the gas i'd rather not have to travel 60 miles round trip just to end up being in a fight on the way there and the way back um so I guess we we settled on a shorter trip of being pissed at each other, and I visit my mom's in the south side. <laughs> yeah. But even then, it just it wasn't it wasn't a bad day at all. We got there, spend minimal time. Usually, anytime we go to these events, whatever side of the family, it ends up being an all night kind of thing. And I got so excited that I wasn't the case, and we made up whatever bullshit like, oh, we gotta go do our rounds. We just came right back home came right back home and just fucking prep for the next day we did kind of like a black friday kind of dinner um because my sister-in-law they just adopted some kids so it's their first thanksgiving so in essence i had a host but there's something so nice about making shit awkward and making so everyone has to get the fuck out the house like i feel like i've mastered that <laughs> <laughs> there's no we're gonna linger here no shit has gone to the its point of uh, no return and it's i think we should go. leave
<laughs> yeah, it's time to go. And uh, yeah, I, I'm not not usually one for you know awkward silences or you know having a, a segue so roughly, but uh, you do what you got to do, man. <laughs> that's real, and that's kind of I don't know. I'm and I'm weird in the sense of like I don't really celebrate holidays and birthdays and like rituals and stuff i just i i don't and it was funny because uh wednesday the wednesday before thanksgiving me and one of the guys uh were joking um about uh we we're like shit if the building was open on thursday we would have went in to work like we got a bunch of <laughs> my work don't stop like i still got a bunch of shit i gotta get caught up on so i was like shit i i would have been at work and then actually it was funny because then the following day on black friday um is the infamously slow day at my job um because a lot of people are off work and so it's kind of hard to reach out to people you, you know uh work on projects get stuff situated and uh so uh the bosses that told us the beginning of the day they was like reach out to all your uh all your accounts or whatever and they were like uh you know if you uh could contact everybody within three hours and everything's you know gucci y'all can go ahead and take off and call it a day leave at you know fucking three hours into your shift um yeah i ended up being there like five six hours because all my clients were <laughs> They were in the office and, and they had shit that needed to get done. So, you know, so, so I was working all day on Black Friday. But then again, same thing. I didn't care. Like, I mean, again, what else am I going to do but sit around and masturbate? So might as well so be busy. I, I take it then you didn't try to do any Black Friday shopping or do you leave that for skips and the kids to go do? No. So we the only thing we planned on doing is we are going to get the boys a system. Ooh. I, at first was gonna get a nintendo switch but this I idea to come to controllers already i think we settled on just sticking with playstation man i think we're just gonna do the playstation 4 because my only concern oh, i love nintendo yet, right? no no i still got the ps3 okay so i love nintendo and nintendo is going to be around to the end of time but my only concern is nintendo has a habit of certain systems not panning out the way that they want to and then they switch on to the next thing because I know that's kind of the thing with the Wii. The Wii was what happened with the Wii U. Product. Yeah, the no, Wii U. No, the Wii U was actually one of the most sold items. I think it hit over 100 million in its history. But the Wii U, which it, it transitioned yes. to, was was done with poor marketing. But honestly, though, if it wasn't for the Wii U, they couldn't have the Switch to its fullest of capabilities. Like yes. the Wii U was like the Fisher Price version of what the Switch is now. And again, being a Nintendo fanboy, you, again, you get two controllers out the, out the dock. You're gonna yeah. have to pay for everything you get, but same thing with the PlayStation. Do you pay for PlayStation Network, like to be on the internet? Wait, to be on the internet? Yeah, because uh, 60, it costs, so the regular price is $60 a year. It supposedly gives you access to play online. If, oh, you, if you're not aware of it, then you haven't paid for it. But I was saying, I don't say, play if you, online. I don't fuck people. <laughs> <laughs> if you were to though the great thing about if, let's say you, you've been on ps3 generation this whole time is that as you have this playstation network you're able to because technically you get two free games um, they're free be, even though you're paying six dollars a year but with the subscription you get two you to get two games per system each 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 month so realistically you could have been saving all those you know free games but if you don't if you haven't done that you don't got to worry about it. if people have questions about it obviously people could do googles or hit me up and we can talk about it but when you do do that it's like you invest 60 dollars for the whole year and you're getting at least 12 games mm -hmm. you know and for each system i think i think by the end of 2019 they're going to cut it out with the ps3 but uh but i can just like, keep it in the playstation family you're familiar you know what i'm saying you unfortunately you can't really go to the back catalog but yeah and my it's whole the best thing priced is, item right now and then my whole thing is just like the ps4 is going to be around until the ps5 so like i got at least another four or five years on the ps4 and i'm mm -hmm. i'm a i'm a playstation head like there was some um xboxes that were whatever the xbox one or whatever they're on now that were cheaper but i'm i'm a sony guy and then like i said i, I was thinking about switching to nintendo but at the end of the day too even if i do get them the switch i'm gonna eventually get myself the ps4 the boys don't care regardless of what it is so i'll just get the ps4 we'll share it like we share the ps3 
we'll just keep it gucci man keep it gucci well if you do do that two great deals that are going on right now even outside the black friday shit there's for 200 dollars, you get yourself the slim version of the ps4 not the most powerful version of it but it handles every game that's out there so you don't got to worry about missing out on anything and it either comes you can get one that comes with spider-man which is beautiful so that sold out because that's what i was going to do Really? Because the beauty of Instagram and Facebook, listening to everything that you talk about, we never once talked about all this until a couple of days before Black Friday. And we're like, oh, yeah, we may buy a system or whatever. And we're like, maybe Nintendo, maybe PlayStation. The very next day, I'm on Instagram and PlayStation's like, hey, we got those PS4s for $199. I'm like, oh, shit, let me click on that because on Amazon, them shits is going for like $299. Oh, and I went, yeah, I went through. Price. I went through all the rigors of going through the PlayStation store or whatever. I finally get to the page and they're like, oh, all those $199 ones, those are all sold out. You need to go over here. And then when I went to the $299 ones, those are all sold out now. So what? now it's back up to $359 for now. So oh, I'll wait. I'll wait. <laughs> I was going to say, because the two best deals that I saw for systems, and if and I was contemplating too, like, do I get another, because my, my, my PlayStation, that's mine, because my, my mama got me the 4, the Pro, so I was like, yeah. that's mine, I don't want no one fucking with it, no one touching it, I was like, maybe I can get them a little slim version, keep it out there for them, right? And when I saw that there was a bundle that came with the, pretty much getting a free copy of Spider-Man, another one had, a, like, then you're getting a free copy of Red Dead Redemption 2, which is a fucking masterpiece, I've been really been wanting to play it, um, Oh, so they came with it, but damn, they sold out. It makes sense. They put in such limited quantities. It's just to get your ass to be like, well, I already settled on this. I might as well. Like, yeah. did you know? And uh, someone had told me this that the Black Friday deals for like for a lot of major retailers, like your Best Buys, they have been doing this shit for the past week already. Yes, that's what I was saying. A lot of places, Amazon, um, I think Burlington, it was a bunch of different places. Yeah, they started Black Friday on like Monday. And so that was the whole thing. By the time you finally fucking get paid on Friday, it's like, oh, mm. shit, everything's already sold out because y'all been yeah, doing no. this all week. But us broke niggas ain't got money till Friday. I got to wait till that payday. Hey, you know, we got that slow internet too. So can you imagine that? Why yeah, I mean, this out in every direction. No, one thing that, that messed me up because it was Wednesday. Wednesday was, it felt like a Friday to me because, you know, you had the Thursday off and I have, I've, I've been having, I've been off since, since, uh, since the end of Wednesday. And it felt like every, every, every energy that I felt in the building was just like everyone had given up. Everyone had checked out since the beginning of the week. The only reason people are here is because if they don't come in, they're not going to get their motherfucking holiday pay and it was being phoned in so crazy it was just like well, why, why didn't we just say we came in today and just called it a fucking day like was this really necessary <laughs> no and uh shouts out to because every black friday of course there was videos or whatever i saw uh videos of fights i saw one chick uh fighting with another chick and they were on the ground and the bitch tried to put her in a triangle chokehold before <laughs> it got broken up and all that but shouts out to the brother he glad i'm glad that he didn't get fucked up because it could have went all sideways did you see the video going around online no. uh, the dude going around uh taking stuff out of people's uh, shopping carts oh my god is he a brother <laughs> it was a black dude oh, he going around shit. and like uh somebody had a, a tv he went over and tried to pick up the tv and the guy was, hey man get your hands off my shit and then like this one chick had a sound bar and he was like oh shit it's a sound bar right here and he told you sir that's sir that's in my cart and then uh this other dude had like a dollhouse and the dude went up he's like, oh shit dollhouse and he picked it up and the guy was like hey hey and then uh he was like, what you doing and he's like he's like the dollhouse he was like this, this last one in here and the guy was like, yeah, yeah, it's in my cart. Like, fuck are you doing? <laughs> so, shouts out to these brothers, because again, one day, we're going to get a mass shooting of motherfucking online YouTube pranks getting shot. It's It's got to happen at some point. And Why hasn't it happened yet, though? So weird. So weird. It hasn't happened yet. Do you so think, weird. do you feel, and again, I'm not trying to get all conspiracy theory this early in the show, but do you feel like it would affect the bottom dollar so much that they they take those they take those cats down on site? Or does that just mean that every other event that's a definite um, uh, sleeper cell that just woke up and, you know what I'm saying, they just threw them into the fold? Because they don't honest, make sense. To be honest, I wouldn't be surprised, but how much money YouTube and Google and all them shits got, I would not be surprised if there has been shootings over YouTube pranks. But 
all you gotta do is pay a little money to make uh shit not be on the news so yeah. um ain't no telling because i remember remember when we were doing the ibhm podcast early on and those there those were all those uh white boy in the hood pranks they kept doing them pranks of doing shit in the hood and a couple of them got punched up or whatever and I, one video a dude reached for his gun and the gun fell one of them niggas might have got shot it's a strong possibility <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just putting that out there. Somebody might have got shot, but I don't know. Who knows? But you know, you know what's, what's even funnier, too, is you look back at all these videos, and we at least have day-to-day livings uploaded online since, what, 2007? So we're a good 10 years over where life has just been daily documented. And if you, when you look back to some of the videos that we had of Black Friday, for and I'm not, I can't really recall how long Black Friday has been a thing. I can for sure think that it's been since the 2000s, mid 2000s. Whether or not they I went before that, I can't at remember. At least the 80s or 90s, at least. It's been around. Black Friday has been a thing for a long time, but go ahead. But, but not to the extent. And it's and especially oh, yeah. Yeah. With, with us being able to have, you know, constant surveillance. But it's funny, when you look back to these videos, the only way that you can tell a difference in time frame is either by how shitty the video quality was, but how, like, r- retro or nostalgic looking the clothes were, or what the item was that people were fighting over. So if you see a Furby, you can be like, oh, yeah, yeah, this is early 2000s. You know what I'm saying? And then you see a sound bar. Yo, and then you see us, then you see that sound bar or whatever, you know, flat panel L C D and like, all right, that must be the most recent thing. And it's just crazy how we haven't I don't know, I feel like we haven't really like developed from that or I don't know, maybe it's just an ongoing thing and that's why they put us in these maze like structures so that every time we turn a corner we feel like we, you know, have Big Brother on us. Maybe that's what keeps us, you know, doing a little sheepish thing and, you know, going all around because that it messed me up even even though i know look the thought of thanksgiving has really just been about the you know end of the you know calendar year as far as inventory goes like the fact that they did it like the wednesday before thanksgiving i'm thinking all right all right now if people don't understand it's a it's a matter of inventory control then then i don't know what people believe this shit is it's that bottom dollar baby yeah so got a love america you did oh yeah if you didn't like this podcast, it's probably because you're racist. Yeah. Fuck your feelings, though. Yeah. What's up, man? You hear me?